Hello viewers, uh, welcome to Mojokar Industry and we are at uh, Smartari India Expo 2022. Uh, this is one of the uh, India's largest uh, exhibition on solar segment and we will be uh, talking to Mr. Uh, Manish Gupta who is the chairman and founder of Insulation Energy Limited. He is also the uh, president of uh, North Indian uh, Solar Module Manufacturing Association. So sir, when you talk about your company to be very specific, you have already achieved so many uh, goals or landmark in this uh, very short journey. So could you just tell us that how was the journey and how have you been able to achieve all those? Uh, first of all, thank you very much. Uh, as you know that we are the first generation company, we are based in the Jaipur, Rajasthan. We started this company in year 2016 and our formal production started in year 2017. Initially, we started this company with a 60 megawatt of the annual manufacturing capacity and we gradually increasing our capacity to 200 megawatt. Currently, we are the largest solar panel manufacturer in the Rajasthan and the second largest in the North India. And we are started our company first year top line with the 55 crore and last year we closed to more than 215 crore. And uh, I would say that with proudly I would say that Insulation Energy is the India's first MSME company and India's first purely solar panel manufacturing company who is listed in the BSC SME board. We list our company last month in the BSC SME board uh, with a very attractive price and with the grace of God and all the our investor, our uh, share performing very well. We are just triple or four times fold uh, uh, amount to our investor in just one and a half uh, month and this is just due to the, uh, due to the booming of the solar sector, energy sector and we hope that this type of rally is uh, uh, ongoing in upcoming future. Oh, congratulations on this uh, particular listing of your BSC uh, MSME uh, stock and uh, uh, I've got to know that the kind of response what you got from the exchange and the investors. So sir, uh, uh, we, we are talking about, you, you spoke about that your position in the North Indian market as well as uh, Rajasthan, you are leading in Rajasthan one of the, and second largest in North India. So what's your plan to go beyond North India? Uh, yes, uh, we are also upcoming with our new plant that is Insulation Green Energy Private Limited which is a 100% subsidiary company to Insulation Energy Limited with a manu uh, expanding to a manufacturing capacity of 500 megawatt. The total capacity should be 700 megawatt which is started uh, from the next month in which there is a total state of the art manufacturing of the new uh, M10 and G12 technology with the monopark and top uh, with the cells and modules. And also we are planning to have our new cell line in near future, mostly in the next one or two years with 500, uh, 600 megawatt capacity in the Jaipur only. So we are planning to accumulate our capacity with the 1.2 gigawatt of the solar panel and the uh, 0.6 means 600 megawatt of the solar cell. Oh, so uh, 700 megawatt investment, where, where it's going to be uh, uh, set up and how much are going to invest? Uh, this setup is our already in the ongoing. Uh, we are starting uh, capex, starting capex from last year, which is uh, commissioned to next month in the final stage only. This capacity is coming to Jaipur only, and uh, in the industrial area Jatavali, this is called Jatavali industrial area. And uh, total capacity should be then our 700 megawatt. Right. As the uh, government immediate gets 500 gigawatt of uh, solar. And uh, you also represent uh, manufacturing associations of solar module. How do you see the manufacturing sectors for the solar is uh, you know, evolving and what kind of support you are getting as of now from the government? Uh, as per government target, 500 gigawatt total target should be government up to year 2030. Out of which if we say about last year in August 21, we already achieved 100 gigawatt. Out of which 100 gigawatt is around 42 gigawatt is the solar. And the now government target is uh, uh, 500 gigawatt up to year 2030, in which 280 gigawatt is from the solar. And right now, if I say about the manufacturing capacity, we have the currently 30 gigawatt of the solar panel manufacturing ready capacity in our country, around 3 to 4 gigawatt cell capacity, which is increasing gradually year by year. Solar panel should be around 50 gigawatt in next year, and cell should be more than 15 gigawatt in next one year. So we are increasing our manufacturing capacity also as government target is increasing. So I think that in, in near future up to year 2030 what is the government target is total 
energy consumption of our country should be around 27 to 30 percent is from renewable and government is also doing good favor for the manufacturing they already import basic custom duty on the import of the solar cell and solar panel to increase the capacity in our country and also they implement the approved list of module manufacture which is shortly called ALMM to support local manufacturing. So apart from ALMM and your BCDs, how do you see the PLI is actually incentivizing the industry, how encouraging it is? Definitely PLI is also increasing but PLI scheme is only for the big players not for SMEs and MSMEs, the other type of companies. PLI is good move by the government, but it, it takes some time to shape up. So, do you uh, in the near future do you foresee that even something similar like PLI is happening for MSMEs and SMEs? Uh, we already requested to the government PLI must be uh, some part of the PLI should be reserved for the SMEs and MSMEs. Like other sector, if you uh, say that there is a, uh, another very uh, good upcoming sector. You uh, know the drone, uh, the drone manufacturing sector, where already government announced the PLI scheme, especially for startups and MSMEs. So we already requested with the government there is some part of this PLI should be reserved for the SMEs. So you have already listed in uh, uh, BSE MSME list uh, stock. Uh, you are expanding your facility. So where do you wish to see uh, uh, installation energy by the year 2030 where the government tar targets 500 gigawatt from renewable energy? We are going to take this company solar panel manufacturing 1.2 gigawatt and solar cell manufacturing minimum 600 gig uh, megawatt to 1 gigawatt. We are getting help with the government uh, policies. So definitely in future this sector should be increased. This sector manufacturing should be increased and in a insulation energy should have a good part of this market in, in total overall India, not in North India, in Rajasthan, but overall India and we are in next 4 to 5 years, our target to make uh, top line of our company to reach up to 1000 crore. 250 crore, if I am not wrong today, it's going to be 1000 crore by 2026 uh, or 7. Yes, definitely. 26, 27, we are planning to achieve 1000 crore uh, target of top line. So that's huge and this is all the best for that, sir. And as we are in this particular expo, we would like to understand from you how was the response, what sort of uh, objectives it could achieve. And definitely, uh, response is good as InterSolar is always a big brand and we are uh, here in the we are regularly participating in InterSolar since last five years and uh, response is good uh, majority local players are also but this time local uh, north indians uh, international players everyone is there so i think uh, everyone got good business or good uh, opportunities from here so uh, it is Mr. Manish Gupta, Chairman and Founder of Insulation Energy Limited, straight from Smarter E Expo 2022 in happening in Gandhinagar, Gujarat. Uh, as Mr. Manish Gupta informed that his company is going to grow from 250 crore to 1000 crore by 2026-27. Uh, as well as the company has uh, invested uh, exponentially in expanding its capacity. A uh, new facility is coming up right here in Jaipur of 700 megawatt manufacturing capacity. Thank you so much, sir. It was great talking to you. So, uh, sir, as we were talking to Mr. Manish Gupta and he was talking about your company's growth of, uh, no, uh, targets of growing to 1000 crore from the current uh, 250 crore. And as you head uh, sales and marketing, we'd like to understand from you, uh, how do you wish to achieve your 1000 crore by 2627? Uh, see, our Honorable uh, Chairman, Mr. Manish Gupta has already laid out the pipeline for the next three four years and recently we have came out for the IPO also so all these things have been keeping in mind about the expansion plan for the next two three years expanding our capacity also and from uh, 200 megawatt to 700 megawatt and ultimately to gigawatt scale and the purpose of coming up this exhibition is since Gujarat is basically a manufacturing hub and now since uh, we are expanding and we are looking at a bigger picture Right. So we want to have a presence in all the segments of solar modules, be it poly, mono and the higher segment of 500 plus range in terms of M12 and M10 modules right? and cell cells. So uh, that is one segment in terms of the technology leap like in the future you have Topcon and AGT. So the new expansion has been done keeping in mind to cater to that segment also since the technology is changing. So expansion in terms of the module sizes and voltage is one segment. Then we have a presence in uh, inverter range also. 
recently we have launched uh, off grid range of pcu inverters uh, both twm and mbbt so that is another segment we are looking at to go with our expansion plans and then thirdly we are offering another solution in terms of the battery so currently we are offering lead acid and lmla batteries and we have a plan if we get the good numbers so we will go for manufacturing of the battery also probably lithium ion also keeping in mind the tech latest technology trends so uh, by that we will have a presence in all the product segments we have charge controllers also and currently we are not doing epc per se on our own but we have tied up with few of our vendors who are offering the uh, rooftop and even ground mounted solution also so indirectly we will have a presence in that segment also so uh, indo uh, this uh, insulation energy is want to be a complete solution provider not just a manufacturer of solar modules or battery or pc inverter we want to be a complete solution provider it's a one stop shop and we want to have a pan india presence and we are looking at export market also so everything has been designed keeping in mind our expansion plans and we have formed up plans to achieve 1000 crores within 2 3 years so uh... as you target as you said that you know you are going to pan india uh, level and uh, you being the safe person who actually can hold the now of the you know down what is actually happening so how do you see the ecosystem of uh, uh, solar uh, modular technology especially uh, evolving and what sort of you know how would you like to compete with the uh, big giants see uh, that is one reason which i mentioned we just don't want to be a manufacturer right we want to have a complete solution right so see uh, unfortunately what is happening because of the stick competition the bottom bottom line is getting hit so uh, you have to see not in terms of the volume also you have to see the bottom line also and with the uh, coming of the new inverters we have see big big giants which are coming up so only thing which very few, which can keep you abreast of the competition is the technology good service and a pan india presence and i think export is also big opportunity i think uh, india is country where uh, we have seen recent because of the pandemic and all uh, market reliance on china was heavily dependent and with the disruption in supply of uh, raw material we have seen the consequence of what is happening the unfortunately price have gone up because of the uh, disruption in supply chain so once we have a vertical fully integrated raw materials and manufacturing scale in india export is one market where we cannot ignore Uh, by when we can expect a battery from uh, uh, battery made by insulation energy is coming out from see uh, i as i mentioned everything depends on the numbers we have recently launched but definitely we are very serious on it if we get a minimum uh, volumes per month or maybe in a years probably it can be next year also so thank you so much uh, sir uh, it was great talking to you inspired from make in india campaign and atmanirbhar bharat campaign insulation energy was formed by the combined efforts of senior industrialists mr manish gupta and mr vikas jain first time in rajasthan in the city of jaipur the paris of india ina has installed one of the most advanced fully automatic solar pv module manufacturing line with least manual intervention Our technology advancement helps us to produce the solar PV module in the most efficient manner. We have a highly skilled and dynamic team that works with perfection in entire process of solar module development like design, production, feedback and research and development. We ensure best quality of raw material confirming latest standards are procured for manufacturing of modules our clients have been consistently recognizing quality of our modules and considering for excellent quality products we are insulation energy ina the way to energy for more updates please subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon